Hi, in my previous video uh, I showed it um, how uh, regulation of the gene expression works and I was talking about the control sequences that lie up in the upstream region from the, um, if we're talking to the relation of the gene. And there can be different um, uh, control sequences. One of those is promoter to which um, special proteins bind uh, that help to express uh, the gene. And uh, there are also other control sequences that lay uh, upstream sometimes um, thousands of base pairs. Uh, here is a relation to the scale so this is 200 bases, so our pro uh, protein binding site shown here probably about 1000 uh, base pairs upstream. So cont control sequences is such sequences to which uh, special proteins bind. Those proteins is uh, needed uh, for with the gene expression, so they enhance gene expression when bind to those control sequences or they, there's other type of proteins that also uh, can bind to different uh, control sequences that uh, will um, decrease uh, gene expression. Um, so um, how such sequences can be found? Uh, usually in, in such uh, research uh, restriction enzyme is used that would cut DNA in certain places uh, that relate to the certain uh, sequence usually from uh, 4 up to 10 base pairs so this is unique sequences and um, in our example, uh, we are using such a restriction enzyme. You see uh, letter R, and we see that um, it cuts our uh, DNA in six places, giving us um, five uh, short uh, sequences. Uh, on the left side, we call it um, uh, bare DNA. And on the right side, um, we have uh, we conduct our second experiment, and we got the same se uh, five uh, short sequences. But we also use it uh, cell extract, uh, actually nucleus extract, inside which there is regulatory uh, proteins that uh, bind to DNA. Uh, helping ways to express it or decrease uh, uh, gene uh, production. So here we see that one of the those uh, regulatory proteins uh, bound to our um, one of the sequences, and uh, we store them in the test tube. Actually, this is not one. Um, um, molecules that we cut, uh, we are working with millions of molecules, so we are getting millions of cuttings and short sequences and millions of those uh, proteins bind to specific places. In our example, we have only one uh, protein and one such regulatory um, place. Uh, it's just for uh, simplification and um, so we have one control uh, uh, test tube and one with uh, protein, regulatory protein bind to one of the sequences and uh, we run uh, agarose gel it's called uh, gel retardation gel itself is a porous material and um, when we run the gel, uh, um, short uh, pieces of DNA would be separated depending on their weight. Um, 
DNA on overall is charged negatively, so when we um, run gel, um, DNA goes from the negative side to the positive charge, and um, as long as you can see, we have different sizes uh, here. We cut DNA and we got five different size uh, pieces. So the shortest one, probably number two, and uh, the next one is number one, number five, three and four. The f number four piece is the largest one, so we expect it to travel the smallest distance. Uh, and number two is the uh, smallest one, so it would travel um, much far away than, say, number four. And um, as I said, we have negative side where and special holes where we load uh, our samples and positive uh, side charge uh, where uh, our molecules would travel and separate. And we also have um, our second sample with uh, protein bind to um, to sh to short cutting number two, and we see that it is missing on the second run, and uh, we see that it just moved um, to the first position. Uh, because its molecular weight of the protein is uh, rather substantial. So, uh, by comparison, um, what we have uh, on the left side and on the right side, we can say which band is missing and where it uh, went. So, it does mean that on that uh, short sequence we have uh, protein bind to that um, uh, cutting of the DNA and uh, we can tell that uh, it contains regulatory protein. Um, so um, it's still 200 bases as you can see and regulatory protein might bind to the side um, control sequence that probably just could be 10 base pairs. So in my next video um, I will show how to uh, delineate uh, such place and tell exactly the sequence and um, there is different techniques used for this and I will explain them in my next video. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.